so I've just quickly got ready because we are leaving to walk down to my mum's so I can drop the boys off at hers. Um, I just thought I'd show you that I'm wearing my Amnesia t-shirt. Love it. It's so oversized um, and it's really comfortable. And I'm just wearing it with leggings. Nothing particularly exciting. Um, I need to do some housework. Yes, black leggings, t-shirt. I'm gonna go put my trainers on. We're gonna leave, um, walk down to my mum's. I'll drop the boys off and then I'll come back home to start work for the day. So just shutting the doors. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Gonna put some trainers on. It's a gorgeous day again today. Uh, it's like 10 degrees and it's gonna be getting up to 16 today. So that's nice. Have you boys got your trainers on? Yeah, mine on. Good. Now there does seem to be a large amount of clothing strewn across the floor. Where should the clothes be? Uh, on the floor. No. Try again. Where should the clothes be? Um, he knows in where the clothes are. Could you please put them in the washing machine once your trains are on? Okay, Thank okay. you. Children. Right. I'm going to put my trainers on um, and I'm going to leave. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. Breaking news, my parcel is in Dover. Yes, my Sheen parcel is in Dover and it's due to be delivered today, no less. I mean, <clears throat> none of the clothes are gonna fit me, so I don't know why I'm so excited about them arriving because they're literally not gonna fit me. They're 12s to 14s, nay, nay, nay. I am a size 16-ish um, and not in everything. So it's not gonna fit, but I'm excited because we can see how far off we are with them fitting and do some try-ons. And also a haul is just nice, isn't it? Like we like a haul and I've got lots of goodies coming. Um, there's bikinis and everything and a swimsuit. Can't wait. Um, so yeah, when it arrives, haul time. What I'll do is I probably won't um, have lunch. I'll take my lunch break to do the haul. Um, and my nail bits turned up yesterday as well. So I'll also do that. I feel like people like hauls. Should I do more hauls? Say yes, because then I can spend more money <laughs> on stuff. Actually, I need to order some food because I was looking yesterday and I'm getting really low on savouries. I've still got a gazillion bars because when I did my first order, I ordered loads of bars. I need some um, caramel bites, definitely, because I can't run out of those. That would just be tragic. Um, and I need some savouries. I think my favourite is the carbonara nowadays. Like... I'm loving the carbonara. It is just so tasty. Right, why is this not working? Sorry, I'm trying to upload something. And it is being a burk. Hmm. Let's preview it. Anyway, that's work stuff. Oh, no, it is working. Yes. Oh, it looks amazing. Sorry, I get excited by things like this. Um publisher yes sorry a little bit of an insight into my work i get that excited by things um okay i'm having to keep pushing this in today by the way because it's one of the days where it flies out um i'm in a good mood the weather's good my dog's cute i'm wearing my comfy top as i said to you i am super comfortable today um i've got this evening new nails going on uh just even into myself just to chill do my nails watch something on the telly and then driving lesson tomorrow for two hours. Um, I didn't have one last week because he was on holiday. But driving lesson tomorrow and then come home, do some housework. Rick's back at about five uh, from Scotland. So he's home. And then I'm going out with my mum and my sister. So that is a good weekend. I don't know what's happening Sunday. Probably not a lot. Oh, and I've got some shopping coming today from Tesco. So I did a... Um, delivery today on the saver slot so I don't know about anybody else but I pay the monthly subscription for Tesco I think it's 2 49 a month because I always do click and collect and most of the time when you pay for click and collect it's like two or three pounds per shop um, and sometimes you really struggle to get slots um, I pay this two pound fifty per month and that means I don't have to pay for each click and collect uh, and also, so, it, you know, every time I click and collect, it's free, but also I get more availability 
and I get early availability for things like Christmas and Easter and all of that good stuff. So it's definitely worth doing if anybody does cook and collect. Um, but what I was going to say is with delivery, <clears throat> I tried to get a delivery for today um, at like a specific time. And it was all not, there was nothing available till like 11 o'clock tonight. And I thought, well, I don't really want food turning up at 11 o'clock tonight. So I was like, right, let's go to the Flexi Saver. So then what they give you is like a time band where it will turn up. So I selected uh, 10 till 2, I think, and you can get it then. And then they message you and say what time it will be here. So my shopping is coming between 11 and 12. So that's perfect. So yeah, there's some shopping tips from me. Uh, I've got my boys all next week here for dinner. Look at the girl. She's cute. Um, my mum and dad are away next week. They're going on holiday. So um, I will be taking the boys to school, picking them up from school, and they'll be coming home and having their dinner here. Because as you know, my mum and dad usually feed them at their house. So they'll be coming here for food. Um, so I had to buy food for them, food for Rick, and I've tried to keep it largely the same. Um, and yeah, I didn't think about food for me, so I need to get an order in, don't I? Otherwise I'm going to be hungry. Uh, I also need more pop squares. Pop squares are life, by the way. They are so good at keeping me in check because the one thing I always miss is crunchy crisps and I really feel like pop chips absolutely deliver that like need they're so much nicer than the fava beans I used to quite like them um and they definitely like the the uh chili ones are really nice however pop squares are better you get loads in the packet the barbecue ones taste like pringles they're good they're good um anyway I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to make a coffee. I'm going to make a coffee, get my first litre of water because I haven't had any yet. Crack on with my day. Yesterday, um, I told you guys I had some focus time booked in to do some user testing on something. I didn't get time um, because people were ringing me and people wanted things doing and I had to do a ton of emails. So I didn't get any user testing done. So I'm going to do it today instead. And then I've got to pick up a device on Monday and build my new software onto it. It's all very technical. Um, but I love it. I love my job. I work with like the best people. I wish I could tell you more about what I do, but I can't really. Um, I'm a project transformation delivery manager. That's basically my job role. Um, I like a big company, I guess you'd say. Uh, yeah. And I work kind of in like a digital space. So transformation of digital stuff. There you go. It's a very brief outline. Uh, right. I can go make a coffee. Happy Friday. Hello, everybody. Everything turned up at the same time. So my um, Tesco shop just like arrived. And then as I was putting that away, <laughs> it's huge, um, but not as big as that very first order I did. Do you remember that in 2020 when I'd ordered like clothes in a size smaller and it came in a box? Do you remember that? I remember the box. I was like, wow, I'm never going to get through all this. But we did. And I've still got some of it upstairs in a bag, which I need to also get down from my wardrobe because that bag has got like tons of much smaller clothing in it. Nice stuff too. <coughs> Bear with me. Bit of a cough. Um, right, so it's not time for lunch yet. So I'm not going to be showing you what I've got um, because I'm working. So as soon as I break for lunch, I will share with you what I have in my bag. Speak to you all later. Hello, everybody. So I'm just taking my lunch. Um, it's one o'clock <clears throat> and I'm going to make a shake. So let's make a shake together. I just really fancy it today. So I've put a ton of ice in here because I think the more ice you have, the better. And it usually asks for 227 mils of water, but because I've got the ice, I'm just going to put in uh, just under 200. Because you still need enough water for that milk shake, uh, the shake powder to blend in. Then I've got the one-to-one -one vanilla shake get that in the blender uh, in the blender in the cup Doo -doo -doo -doo. I remember the first time I made a shake do you remember I had that awful one <laughs> where um it wasn't working it was the Mo Farah blender and it was 
awful. All right, so there's that. Then I've got the flavour drops and this is the butter biscuit. It smells like Biscoff. It smells amazing. Mm -mm. So I'm going to put some of that in. Drop, drop, drop. One pipette. Two pipettes. So if we start with that and then I can taste test it and see if it needs more. So put the lid on. I'm going to give it a shake just to get a little bit of that in. And then I'm going to pause you while I blitz it in my new blender. Back in a sec. I forgot how bloody noisy they are. Anyway, shake made. So I'm just going to do that. Now I'm wondering if I should just drink it out of here because then you guys can see like the colour and stuff. Oh. I can't taste the butter biscuit, it still just tastes like vanilla. So let's put a tiny bit more in. I'm doing another two because why not? And then we're going to get the straw, give it a stir. Right, let's go. That's lovely. Um, I'm not going to put it in this cup today. I think I'm just going to have it in this one. That's really nice. I actually didn't realise how much I'd missed the milkshakes. I've got it nice and thick. I think next time probably a bit more ice, less water. Um, this is quite thick, but it's not as thick as I'd like it. It's good. I'm enjoying it. The milkshake. Let's talk about the milkshake. Um, I drank it. And... What I liked about it is that it took me a while to drink because it was so cold. Um, it wasn't as thick as I wanted it to be. And when I got to the bottom, it was kind of not as flavoured as I wanted it to be. But I think that's just because there was a lot of ice in there uh, and water, obviously. And once it all blitzed up, you end up with, like, you know, a lot of water. And water doesn't taste of anything unless you've got the amazing one-to-one -one, um, water flavourings in there of course um <coughs> little plug there and i don't know why i'm plugging it i'm plugging it for my consultant um anyway i'm freezing that's the only thing about milkshakes i'm freezing but what i would say is it has really filled me up so normally this point of the day i love a packet of pop squares and i'll have like a um another liter of water or something like that just to tide me over but you see I'm going to do things different today because I've had my milkshake and then I think at about three I might have some pop squares or I might see if I'm not hungry and then and this is exciting like have something at about six o'clock like um a spag bowl or a mac and cheese and then have crisps in a bar this evening how cool would that be because that will feel like well, like a little movie night kind of snack. Even though I'm not going to be watching a movie because I'm obviously going to be um, doing my nails, which I'm excited about. Do you want to see the colour? The colour's just in here. I don't know which colour to go for, actually. I've got two. I've got like a... Oh, I can't find it. Oh, I'll... Ah, shot my finger in the drawer. Um, I'll get... I'll, I'll show you later. Um, look over there. There's some cloves. I'm not going to do it now because, <clears throat> well, because I'm not. Uh, I'll do. I was going to do it over my lunch break, but I'm not going to because I just need to sit and relax. Because uh, because I haven't done enough relaxing this week. You know, no children for lots of nights. Um, but I will come on later before I do my nails after the boys have been picked up, and we'll have a little try on. But I will give you. I will do. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do for you guys 
is I will quickly show you if, if you'll stand there. Hopefully you will. Um, I will quickly show you some of the little bits that I got. How about that? So, and then we'll do clothes later. Just because. Hmm. Right. I got a little purse. So I have a massive purse, which is fine, but it doesn't fit in a lot of my bags. So I ordered this little red one because one of the things I've got coming off Haku, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I wanted a purse that was little and I've got a red bag coming that will match this. But when I opened it, I was like, oh, the inside isn't quite what I thought. But I think it's okay because I can put coins that side in the middle, like coins that side, and then I can put um, like notes that side, and then I've got loads of room for cards. It's not ideal. It's not kind of like I thought it was going to be one side had cards and then the other side was for money and stuff, but it's still cute. That got like flowers and things on it. Pretty. Uh, and then I ordered two lipsticks from um, She Glam which is sheen makeup so the first one is beach babe and it's i don't i've never tried their lipsticks before but we'll see how we go um the packaging's so nice isn't that lovely what i would say it's really plasticky so it looks like it should be really heavy and weighty and kind of expensive and it's not um and i think these were i don't know like one pound or something so yeah this one is what did i say this was called beach babe and it's like kind of neutral colour. It's not too bad, is it? Don't know what it will look like. I won't put it on my lips today. Um, but that's that one. And then I got another one in a different colour. And this colour is called Bold Berry. I do like a dark lip. Exactly the same packaging. And then this one is like really, really red. Like a... Well, actually, it's when you put it on, it's not that red. It's more like a kind of plum you see that? Like a pinky plum colour. That's very... Oh, it's like a berry colour. It's funny that, Louise. It's called berry. Um, <laughs> the clue's in the name. So there's those. And then the other little bits that I got. <clears throat> so as you know, I do my nails all the time. Um, and sometimes I want to have like artwork on them. And I'm not really great at doing artwork. I can do obviously like the abstract stuff like I did with these. Um, and I can do kind of spots and love hearts and probably flowers. Um, and I did a little bit of artwork on uh, Ava's nails at Christmas. So she had like a gingerbread man and stuff. I think I told you about that before. Um, but when I like struggle and can't be bothered, but I want something cool, I can use stickers. So I bought some stickers and I think these ones I'm going to save for when we go to our my UK Games Expo because they're just funky. They're not game related in any way, but they're cool. Look at these stickers for the nails. How funky are they? And some of them go over like the whole nail. So they've got, um, they're like shaped for that entire nail. And then others are sort of like just little bits of the nail that you can cover. So that's exciting. I think on this one, there's like 10, enough for one whole set. And then I think there's, well, there's more than 10, but you know what I mean? You could have like two different sets. Um, Because I think they will look nice. And then I've got some other stickers. These stickers, by the way, were like a pound. So if you like doing your own nails, even if you don't put extensions on, even if you just... um like paint your nails and it doesn't have to be gel even if you just paint them with like Barry M or um is it Essie is that one of the brands you can still put these stickers on the top and put a top coat on um and they'll look good and then these ones are to give you like a marble swirly all different I mean look at these look at these rainbow colored ones for the summer they're going to be so nice loads of different colors loads of different like textures and things oh Hang on. Dropped one on the floor. So yeah, there's just there's tons. All different kinds of varieties of colour and shape. Um, and I really like them. So they're going to be good fun to wear. If you can say that wearing something on your nails is good fun. I can. I don't have much else going on at the moment, do I? What else am I doing with my life? <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. I have a lovely life. I'm a very lucky girl. I've got a wonderful boyfriend, lovely family, gorgeous boys, beautiful girl dog. 
uh, lovely house so and a lovely job so I'm not going to moan. I've got some earrings. These are, I don't, I must have ordered these with something in mind because I don't really wear black and white together very, I mean I, actually that's not true. I wear quite a lot of black and white but whatever. These earrings are just clippy clipped ones like the same shape as the ones I'm wearing today actually. Um, they clip round and then they are black and white like they're kind of vinyl it's like they've been vinyl wrapped these <laughs> these ones are bloody brilliant i love these earrings and i bought these for the uk games expo as well i think the Ga games expo i just feel like you need to go and be colorful i don't know why i'm a weirdo um oh, i can't open them come on People do not want me to take this long opening stuff. Are you ready for these earrings? I'm telling you. They're amazing. <laughs> Look. Hello, little storm cloud. Rainbow storm clouds. Please tell me that nothing just broke. I'm really sorry. You keep seeing the top of my head. Good job I had my greys done. Um, Look. Little rainbow storm clouds love 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 then we have we're almost there for little little bits uh, another pair of earrings because i used to have a pair of like square earrings from sheen that had tons of glitter and colors all over them and i absolutely loved them they were so versatile like i could wear them with anything and i loved them and they broke so i found a kind of a replacement pair so that, oh, that's weird. I thought they were going to be, I mean, they are resin, but I thought they were going to be really hard. And well, they're not. They're like bendy. But how nice are they? They're going to go with lots. Um, so I've got that. The other one's exactly the same. It's just like a different variation of colour. But they are very nice. I like those ones. I'm just going to pop those rain cloud ones back in there as well. So that they stay safe. Oh. <clears throat> That's that. And then the last thing, well, the last two small things, uh, non-clothing related. Oh, no, I have got those more non-clothing related. I forgot about the other two bits, but I'll show you those. Um, this is a phone case. So my I've got the Google Pixel 7. And phone cases are, for those are really crap. Like, they don't really have much variety. And if they do, you have to get it on somewhere like Casetify or there's another one. I can't remember the name of it. But they're really expensive and I don't want to spend a lot on a phone case. It's just a phone case. So they do them for a pound on Sheen. And I liked this one. So got that. And I kind of like the transparent sort of look with a phone case. Because I've got, the phone I've got has got like a kind of mint greeny yellow kind of back on it. And if you cover it up with a normal case, you'd never see that nice colour. So I always go for something a little bit transparent. Um, I've got cartoon characters on there at the moment and then I bought another one which is again it's transparent but it's leopard print no it's not zebra print <laughs> so those oh that's creepy anyway so weird I'm so sorry um so that's those and then I got a little rucksack it's tiny like size of my head tiny I haven't got a, I'm not saying I've got a tiny head but bags are not usually that size but I got this because again when I go to the games expo I get really fed up of carrying like a big heavy bag around my shoulder so I thought if I get this it's really cute I'm going to obviously lengthen the straps like this what does it say on it pink summer bit of a weird thing to have on a bag strap um I do laugh, laugh at some of the logos at I'm so sorry. I laugh at some of the slogans that they give you on like sheen t-shirts and bags and things. For example, pink summer. I mean, what does that even mean? Um, but put it on my back. I can just carry it walking around. Um, and that's that. I'm going to put my purse in there. I'm going to put the jewellery in there. I'm going to put the phone cases in there and my lipsticks. And then I can transport it upstairs, can't I? So that's dead cute. Nice little rucksack. Uh, and then the other thing that is non-clothing related is a pair of sandals because I love sandals and I wanted a wedged pair. 
because I'm proper into like flares. I love flares. Um, and actually, I probably should have kept them flats because my legs are quite long. And normally if I buy flares and then I wear them with heels, they kind of don't look like flares. They're sort of ankle grozers. But anyway, I got these. So they're just like plain. They look like they'd be wicker, but they're not. They're like rubber, hard rubber. Um, they're dead squishy though. I think they're going to be comfortable, but they're just really nice. They're kind of going to go with everything. And that's what I like. I like something that's that's versatile that you can wear with a lot so i think you could wear that with a nice summer dress you could wear it with mum jeans cropped mum jeans you could wear it with a jumpsuit you could wear it with a skirt um flared jeans whatever whatever you want um, and i think this will go so nice with that 70s jumpsuit that i bought i haven't shown you that yet that arrived um but i haven't shown you yet so that will be included in my clothing haul that i'll do later um side note this video is going to be really really long so i'm sorry but it's fine so there we go the rest of the stuff i've got is clothing um and as i said i'll try some of that on later and we'll see how we're getting on with it how far i've got to go it's going to depress me we both know both know we all know if you've been watching me for a long time that it will depress the shit out of me i'm going to be like oh it doesn't fit and i'm so fat and i know it's going to happen and i'm prepared for it so that's okay uh it will fit it just doesn't right now but it will so I'm not going to get depressed. I'm still going to be on plan, still sticking with it. Um, <clears throat> that's me. So you have had me for 15 minutes now, uh, including me making my shake and talking about my shake. So I'm going to let you go <laughs> um, and I'll be back a bit later on. Bye. Hello, everybody. It's uh, quite late. <laughs> it's 10 to 9 um, and I started doing my nails at half past six and I've only got as far as taking the other ones off and putting the new ones on. So i'm knackered um so i've only just got around to eating something um i'm having a tikka curry so that's there and then i've got a birthday cake bar to have afterwards now <coughs> obviously this evening i was going to do my try on for you but i didn't get home from my mum's until like six and then i started my nails pretty much straight away um and as i said i'm still bloody doing them so i've got to eat my food because i'm starving um and then well, I'll be going to sleep. It took me ages to decide what I was going to say. Um, yeah, so after I've had my bar, I'll be going to sleep. These are the colours I'm going to use. This nice, gorgeous, like, colour. I don't know whether to do the um, kind of plain red as well. I think I'm just going to go for goldy glitter. It's easy, isn't it? Uh, right, that's me. I am going to eat that, upload this because it's quite a long video anyway, and then I'll try and do the try on tomorrow if I get time. But yes, this is the shape and the length. I've just got to paint them. Um, I love you all loads, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. <laughs>